Welcome back guys, you are watching Brothers Together. 2022 is about to end. So ending it on a high becomes really important in everybody's perspective. But still, one thing that steps a little bit higher than this is your preparation or your mental strategy to tackle the next 2023. So I'm using the word tackle because your preparation or your readiness for 2023 makes, I mean, molds 2023 into what type of year that should become for you. So everything is in your hands. So the same reason you, there is a need to take some resolutions. So some resolutions that will make you a better person than you were in 2022. For the same purpose, I have taken some important resolutions for my, uh, I mean, my 2023. So that will be a great use for all the students who are listening to me out there. Uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, so immediately subscribe to the channel so that you will never miss out any informative video like this. And I am uh, I'm, I'm planning of up uploading many informative videos regarding placements, regarding freelancing and all. So to never miss out on that, click on the notifications button too so that you will get a notification once I upload the video. As a first year engineering student studying BE in Computer Science and Engineering, I had to take some resolutions to make my, I mean, what domain I have chosen. So in that, I need to be better. So for that, I have taken some resolutions, guys. So all of you must take these resolutions, at least if you are from a computer science background or IT related background. But even if you are from a non IT related branch, this video is definitely going to help you. So I watched the video till then. Before moving on with the resolutions, one thing I would like to share here. So what generally happens with me and with many of the people here is, like uh, when new year is about to approach we prepare a set of resolutions and we prepare a strong mindset to just go i mean just stick on to those resolutions but once february is done once march is done what we do is we neglect these resolutions so that shouldn't be done because that just makes the same i mean that year just the same as the previous one so no development nothing so development is very important for you in all aspects so for that making a set of resolutions and sticking on to it for the entire year becomes really important Yes guys, with this note, let's start with the video. My first resolution which I would like to take in this video is learning a programming language perfectly. Yes guys, you heard it right. I am aspiring to learn one programming language perfectly so that I can work on it, I can solve problems on it and then I can prepare like, uh, I mean, I can prepare what projects I need from it. Yeah, this is the, my first resolution. So this becomes really important for all those who are studying IT related background and people from non IT background. So most of them like what they try is they try to go to this IT related field like once they complete their engineering what the, the, their mindset will be fixed like I must go to IT related field after I complete my engineering course. So those people also what I suggest is you, the necessity is like that itself like at least one programming language you should learn perfectly. When I say one programming language that doesn't mean you should not touch any other languages like learning one, sub, one programming language and this, then I am done. Not like that. You must try, try all the languages too. What I am trying to tell is like one language you should know perfectly. Another languages you can take like casually like the general syntax and then how the data types work and then how the control flow is there. That things if you know that will be more than enough. But one programming language I am aspiring to learn I mean completely and perfectly. So I hope I will complete this resolution at least. Yeah and then moving on with the next resolution. The second important resolution which I have taken is I want to extend my network so I want to enrich my network and in the same way extend my net network into a huge efficient community guys. Yes guys you heard it right networking becomes a really important aspect once you complete your engineering you will become I mean you will come to know the importance of it. I had covered it in the previous video too like uh, the importance of networking in my experience of my first day of engineering. If you haven't yet checked it out immediately check it out I will give it in the description too. Yeah what we were talking about yeah networking. How networking becomes important and how to uh, enlarge your network. Both points I'll be covering in this video itself. Yeah. What happens is when you are up to something, like when you are up to something, like when you are going to start a startup, one man cannot do everything. Like one man show is not at all a thing when we talk about startups and companies. For that, you need people who are, uh, who are molded, who are better in that particular field. Suppose I'm starting a startup. And I'm not, I mean, I'm technically a little bit weak. So I need to know people who are technically good. This is not the only purpose which uh, covers networking. But still, if you have to do something, so you know Python well, and then you are trying to learn one more language, like the basics of it and uh, rough idea of it, like syntax and all, you are about to learn. And then there arises a question in your mind, like which one to learn, which one has a better scope compared to Python, which I have learned already. Yeah. In that case, you need to know people who have already done that. Yes, guys, you need to know people who have already done that and have ample experience in these terms. So those people who have learned multiple languages will be the best options who may guide you correctly in the path. So this was just a small example. 
for like this networking becomes a very important thing once you complete your engineering guys so for that how to increase your network so how to increase your network for that one tip i would like to give you is like whenever you are roaming in the college like once the class is over you will be roaming in the college or you will be walking in the corridor but for some reason you will be uh, i mean you will be wandering in your cottage at that time what you should do is like when you meet a person like when you see a person walking over there just go to them just talk to them like from what domain they are so how how that person is to so ask many people as you can this will increase your network and in the same way that will increase many good factors in you which becomes a really important thing for a successful engineer guys yes guys this was my second resolution which i am i have taken for my year 2023 that is showing the importance of networking that was my second i mean that is my second resolution for 2023 yeah coming to the third and final uh, important resolution i have decided to inform my mind regarding the importance of consistency yes guys you heard it exactly right consistency becomes an important thing in whatever you do so that's why what i have thought is like i have taken that decision with grit and resilience to be consistent in whatever i do it may be anything it may be a uh, gym workout it may be uh, what i said regarding programming previously it may be coding every day it may be doing some or the other thing but consistency matters a lot so you may have come across uh, many successful people who are in that place because of the consistent hard work they put up for that consistency becomes very important and that's the reason why i have considered it as my third resolution for my new year that is being consistent in whatever i do yes guys in a nutshell i would like to tell all the three resolutions which i covered in this video once again first thing was to learn one programming language correctly or perfectly and second one was networking with through which i told you the importance of networking and how to en enlarge your network like how to talk to people and all and then the last thing which we covered was regarding consistency so i have taken these three important resolutions for my upcoming year 2023 so i would recommend all of you to take a some set of uh, resolutions which you will definitely follow in the upcoming year 2023 which makes you a better person than you were in 2022 guys so with this note this is darshan has got a signing off i enjoyed quite a bit sharing my resolutions for my upcoming year 2023 even if you have done some set of resolutions for your 2023 immediately put it on the comment section so that you and i will be benefiting from it and in the same way all the community members will be benefiting from it and then if you like this video immediately click on the like button so that i'll be getting some motivation to do the same type of informative videos in the coming days and then last but not the least i would like to inform you all regarding our telegram group which you have to definitely join so that it will be a definite benefit for you this was it share it to your friends too so that even they'll be all set for the upcoming year 2023 thank you guys thank you we'll meet in the next video bye